Hey, what's up everybody? Doran Aldana here coming at you with another episode of the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast from MortgageMarketingCoach.com. And today we're going to talk about something that affects every single human being, including mortgage professionals, is, is perhaps the silent killer of tens of thousands, perhaps even hundreds of thousands of dreams and the silent killer of tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of mortgage professionals careers. And that is worry, worry, the corrosive, the confidence killing acid of worry that corrodes our power, our confidence, our certainty, our resolve, and ultimately kills our ability to be successful. So we're going to talk about how to stop worrying and start winning. What is the difference that makes the difference between winners and losers? A big part of it is how they exercise their mental muscle to shift from worrying to winning. And it's insidious, isn't it? There's just such an inclination, such a gravitational pull towards worry, towards thinking about the negative, towards thinking about what we don't want. I've once heard it said that Worry is the misuse of our imaginations. Corey Ten Boom said it well when he said, worrying is carrying tomorrow's, tomorrow's load with today's strength, carrying two days at once. It is moving into tomorrow ahead of time. Worrying doesn't empty tomorrow of its sorrow. It empties today of its strength. So well said, because it has us focus on what we don't want, leeching our power, our confidence, our peace, our poise, thinking about something that hasn't even happened yet. And what happens, of course, is what we focus on expands. So we tend to attract more of that what we don't want if we focus on it. And let's be real. We've all worried. I've worried. You guys have worried. All human beings are susceptible to worry. Let's just be real. That's just what it's like and what it is to be human. I remember when I was in high school, you know, I was the quintessential jock. I was in all the sports teams and I love playing basketball. And I was a relatively good player for being from such a small little school with very little training. I just had that natural, you know, athletic ability. And on my team, I was one of the best, if not the best. And I was just in the flow, having fun, hitting shots, hitting clutch shots, winning games. I, I mean, the other teams knew I was the guy to take down. If they were going to beat our team, they needed to shut me down. And so I played like this, getting better and better, building more and more confidence all the way up to grade 12, at which point I actually moved schools because I was just done with the whole culture and the whole scene at this tiny little school I was in, there's a ton of gossip. There's no girls, no skirts to chase. Not a good situation when you're a young dude. And I was just ready for something fresh, something new. So I got myself a job, saved up some money, got a car, and I commuted a whole hour, 45 minutes just to get to another school. So here I am at a bigger school, more talent on the basketball team, and there's this new coach that I had to adopt to, which would have been great, except he was a domineering, fear-mongering cop who was constantly berating his players, beating them down verbally, yelling at them. And I wasn't used to that. So all of a sudden, within a very short period of time, I started to be fearful of making a mistake, fear of him berating me and yelling at me and fear of you know, not living up to his expectations. Some of you guys can relate to that, maybe from your parents or maybe from one of your teachers or maybe in athletics as well. So anyhow, as you can imagine, because I was fearful of making a mistake, I was thinking about making a mistake. I was worrying about not hitting the shot, worrying about getting stuffed by the player, worrying about taking a shot and missing it and having this coach berate me, yell at me, cut me down and not meet his expectations. How do you think my game went that year? Down the crapper in a hurry. Because every time I took a shot, I was second guessing myself. Every time I took a shot, I wasn't following through all the way. There was this little half step, this little pulling of punches, this fear of a misstep that was causing me to do exactly that which I was fearing. 
Can you guys relate to this? I know you have examples of this in your own life. So we've all worried. We've all seen the effects of worry in our life, and yet we tend to still do it. It becomes a habit. And once we own the habit, it owns us. The problem with worry is we get what we focus on. When we focus on worry, we get more things to worry about, and we tend to attract that which we're worrying about. So how do we break this cycle? I'm going to give you a few key distinctions that I believe can change your life if you apply them in your life, if you're rigorous with yourself, yourself and apply this coaching. Game changer for you guys. Game changer if you'll apply it to your life rigorously, even if you don't feel like it, even if you're not in the mood, even if it's the hardest freaking thing you ever did in your life. Here are three steps to stop worrying and start winning. I use an acronym called CAR, C-A-R, CAR. That's the vehicle that allows you to stop worrying and start winning and start winning in every area of your life, from your business, to your health, to your relationships, to your leadership, to your legacy. CAR, C-A-R. Let's start with the first letter in the acronym. C stands for claim your victory in advance. Say what, Dorn? Claim your victory in advance. That means you got to see it, you got to feel it, you got to own it, you got to claim it, you got to smell it, you got to touch it, you got to live in it, you got to step into it as if you already have it. That's the opposite of the misuse of your imagination. It's the most glorious, most godly use of your imagination to use it to focus on a glorious future as if you already have it, to be thankful for it as if you already have it, to affirm it as if you already have it, to visualize it as if you already have it, to be thankful for it and revel in it and glory in it in advance. Not what's safe, not what's comfortable, not what's quote unquote realistic, but a big, hairy, audacious goal that scares you and excites you at the same time. Not settling for good in your life, but going for great, going for glorious, going for something truly exceptional and marvelous and magnificent. That's the first step to stopping the habit force ritual of worrying and stepping into a whole new way of life called winning, a culture of winning, a momentum of winning. Having your life be literally a perennial and perpetual gravitational pull towards winning in every area of your life starts with the C in the acronym CAR. Claim your victory in advance. In other words, you can have it exactly the way you want it if you don't settle. And if you own the victory in advance. So that's the first step. But that's not enough. There's more to it. You have to make it part of your daily routine. You got to make it part of your new way of life. You have to carve out time in your calendar to do this stuff. Like set time aside to do affirmations. Set time aside to affirm that which you desire in your life as if you already have it. So one of my favorites comes from Bob Proctor when it comes to money. It's one of my favorite affirmations. And it goes something like this. I receive all that I desire in my life, all the abundance I desire in my life, I receive now. I'm so happy and grateful now that money comes to me in ever increasing quantities through multiple sources of income on a continuous basis. Yes. You feel that energy? That is the power of affirmation. You're taking control of your thoughts. You're taking control of your, your physiology and you're owning the victory in advance. You're speaking life into it as if it's already yours. That's how you do affirmations. Not like, you know, I'm so happy and grateful now that money comes to me in ever increasing quantities through multiple sources of income on a continuous basis. That's not, <laughs> that's not going to change your life. You got to own it. You got to speak with power and conviction and certainty. That's the first piece of you claiming your victory in advance is affirming it. The other piece is visualizing it. Relax. Maybe on a lazy boy chair, maybe in a very comfortable bed, maybe on a carpeted floor.
but relax. Just totally get peaced out and relax. Take a deep breath and just surrender. Just completely relax. And then step into a visualization of gratitude, being grateful for what you already have now in your life, all the blessings from your health to your family, to your friends, to your home, to your clients, to your career. Just be grateful, just marinate in gratitude. Just step into a total prayer of attitude of gratitude. And then transition into your dream life as if you already have it. Be thankful for it in advance as if you already have it. That's how I do visualizations. So that's what I mean by claiming your victory in advance. Carve out 10 to 15 minutes every day to do that before you start work. I promise you it'll change your life. The second step, actually, before we get into the second step, I want to share a quick story. I have a seven-figure lender academy client by the name of Michael Chabot who lost his 14-year-old daughter due to complications of the flu. As you can imagine, totally devastated. It was in a very dark place, was on literally the edge of suicide multiple times over the span of a year as he was mourning his daughter's death. My heart broke for him as a father of four kids. I can't imagine how difficult that would be to go through that. Anyhow, he came to a place where he's just ready to re-engage. He'd been feeling sore for himself for a whole year. His income dropped substantially. He needed to man up, rise up, become the warrior, the leader, the champion in his home he's called to be and to redeem his daughter's death and turn that pain into a powerful purpose. So he decided to re-engage and commit to re-engagement with the Seven Figure Lender Academy to have winners in his corner to help him win. And all of a sudden, it was like the light switch turned on. Everything changed for him. All of a sudden, he's taking cold showers in the morning because that's what us champions do. We take cold showers. We do the painful because it has a powerful and a profitable purpose that it helps us to propel us to our dreams. So we do it to really become all that we're called to become by doing the things most people aren't willing to do so we can get the results most people aren't going to have. Anyway, this guy's just come alive. He's like a caterpillar that's been struggling, pushing up against the outside inner edges of that cocoon in the darkness, in despair, in sorrow, in pain. And all of a sudden he's unleashed his wings from that cocoon and he's setting his wings open and he's starting to soar. And it's just exquisitely beautiful to watch him go through his transformation. Anyhow, through that transformation, as he started to step into really owning his mindset and owning his victory in advance and using his pain for a powerful purpose, that has had a ripple effect on his kids and a ripple effect on his two surviving kids who need him to be the leader he's called to be. And one of his kids is a 14 year old son, or rather uh, I think he's 15 or 16 year old son who is a high level hockey player. And anyway, because Michael is visualizing and meditating and using the power of these rituals to rewire his brain every day, he suggested to his son, son, put this meditation on before your game today and just relax and let it pour into your mental factory. So he took like a half an hour nap while these things were just pouring into his subconscious mind through his earbuds. And he was told by the other parents of the team as they watched his son kick ass, take names and chew bubble gum and crush it, that that was his best game they've ever seen. He was a freaking animal. He was on fire. That's the power, guys, of getting your mindset on point. It unleashed the beast within for his son. His son has not been the same. Now his son's taking cold showers. How awesome is that? He's owning that victory because he realizes that if he wants to be a champion, he's got to be willing to do the things most people aren't willing to do. He can't afford to have chump level routines if he wants champion level results. So I just was so touched and moved by that. It was just incredible to see and to hear how Michael transforming is now causing his son to transform. That's the power of self-leadership, guys. You can't not, uh, not affect other people. When you transform, other people are going to transform as well. 
When you become your best, you're going to inspire others to step up and become their best. And it becomes a legendary legacy, an avalanche of awesome where you are showing up like a champion and you're causing other people to step out of their chump selves and step into their champ selves because they see you living it every day. It's one of the most meaningful and most inspiring and most life transforming things you can ever do is to change your life so you can be the cause of other people changing their life. The second thing that allows you to stop worrying and start winning, the second letter in the acronym CAR, C-A-R, that allows you to stop worrying and start winning is A for accept total responsibility for what's in your control, not what's in someone else's control, not what's never been in your control, not what's in your past, not what's in your future that is not yet in your grasp to control, but accept total responsibility for what's in your control right now. Your thinking, your actions, your habits, your focus. What are you focusing your mind on? Are you focusing on what you don't want or are you focusing on what you do want? Are you focusing on what you can't do or are you focusing on what you can do? Are you focusing on your lack, limitation, and scarcity? Are you focusing on abundance and victory and winning? What do you have responsibility for? What's in your control? Can you control how many closings you're going to do this month? You can't control that necessarily because what you do now will affect your results the following month, two, three, four months from now. It's not necessarily going to affect your income and your results this month. You needed to be concerned about that last month and the month before that. True? So what do you have control over? You have control over process, not necessarily product. By virtue of controlling what you're responsible for in the process, you can, by virtue of controlling that, control your product, your prize, your profit, one, two, three, four, five months from now. But what do we have control of right now? We have control of how we think. We have control of what we focus on. We have control of our emotions. We have control of our morning routine. We have control of your, your proactive prospecting. We have control of how many clients you call today, how many realtors you reach out to today. We have control of, are you investing in yourself? We have control of, are you educating yourself? Are you learning? Are you growing? Are you driving or are you drifting? Are you settling or are you doing whatever it takes to soar? That's what we have control over. It reminds me of another story. I got two, uh, two Michael Chabot stories today. That guy's just lighting me up and firing me up, man, because he's coming alive and he's sharing these stories of transformation and I can't help but not share them with you. That's one of the most glorious things about serving our Seven Figure Lender Academy members is these guys are getting kick-ass, phenomenal results. And I get to be part of and be the catalyst for those kind of breakthroughs. And then, of course, turn around and share these transformational breakthrough stories with you. So Michael Chabot is a hockey player, a high level hockey player. He's also a hockey coach. He has the opportunity and the privilege of coaching uh, teenage boy hockey players at a, an elite level, rep league hockey. And they are just in a tournament last weekend and their first game, they got slaughtered. They were last of the puck, not first of the puck. They were getting outgunned. They were getting out hustled, and they were slacking and lacking on every level. They got obliterated. Well, at the end of the game, Michael had a talk with his boys, some real talk. And before he had this transformation where he really started to own his own extreme ownership of owning his thoughts, owning his habits, owning his beliefs, and really claiming his victory in advance. This would have felt like a hypocritical pontification rant because he wasn't living it. But now he's taking cold showers. He's getting up at five in the morning. He's going to the gym. He's listening to inspiration, motivation, education. He's doing the hard work. He's doing the visualizations. He's doing the affirmations. He's owning the habits of success the habits of winners every day, doing the hard stuff. So now he had an opportunity to lead by example through his own leadership of what he's doing in his own life. He said, boys, you guys are being intimidated by the other players. You're better than this and you know it. 
You guys have more skill than this and you know it. You guys have more muscle and more hustle than this and you know it. You're letting the other team beat you to the puck. You're not giving it your best and you know it. He said, you guys need to stop worrying about what the other team's going to do and you guys need to start showing up like you never have before. Can do, will do. He said, you can beat the other team to the puck. And you can choose to say, I can do and I will do. You can out hustle the other team in the corners. And you can choose to say, I can do and I will do. He said, you can bring your best and do your best. And you can choose to say, I can do and I will do. And he got the whole team chanting this. Can do, will do, can do, will do. Man, I'm getting goosebumps right now just telling you the story. To make a long story short, they beat every single team after he got his team to own the power of can do, will do, bring their best, do their best. They beat, they obliterated even more talented teams with better records. And they made the semifinals. And they're on track now to potentially win the whole tournament. Because they own the power of their own mindset. Can do, will do. Isn't that awesome? Man, that fires me up. That lights my fire because that's what life's all about. That's what winning's all about. So lastly, the third piece of the puzzle in the acronym CAR, C-A-R. We talked about the first one, right? The first one is claim your victory in advance. This is the CAR that's going to get you from stopping worrying and start to win consistently. This is how you stop worrying and start winning. CAR. C is for claim your victory in advance. A is for accept total responsibility for what's in your control. Can do, will do. And the third letter in the acronym CAR is roll with winners. Not roll with losers, roll with winners. Not roll with whining, sniveling complainers, but roll with winners. People who own this mindset. People who take responsibility for their own success. People who focus on the good, focus on what they want, are filled with an attitude of gratitude. People who would rather go out there and make things happen than just think about it, hope about it, pray about it, wish about it, and then complain when it doesn't happen, okay? You become who you hang out with. You've probably heard the saying, if you lay down with dogs, you're gonna come up with fleas. You become who you hang out with. You're gonna be the product of your best five friends who you hang out the most. You're going to have the average income of the five people you hang out the most. For some of you, that should be concerning because you're settling for second best. You're hanging out with the trailer park crew. Nothing wrong with people from the trailer park. But if you want to be living in a mansion, you can't afford to be hanging with the trailer park crew. If you want to be winning, you can't afford to be hanging with people who aren't committed to winning. When you hang with losers, you become the next loser. When you hang with winners, you become the next winner. That's the power of association. So you want to purposefully and consistently cultivate the habit of attracting winners in your life, whether it be listening to winners and how they think through audiobooks and podcasts and, you know, what you're listening to right now through my voice, whether it be choosing to you know, have a group of winners that you mastermind with in your own city, your own town, whether it be investing in yourself with a winning mentor, with a winning coach, with a winning battle-tested proven plan that's going to help you get winning results. All of that needs to be intentional. Winning doesn't happen by accident, guys. It happens by design. You've got to cultivate a winning culture in your life, winning habits in your life, winning associations in your life, winning mentors in your life, winning influences in your life. Turn off the freaking news. Put the newspaper down. All that is all the fear, the negativity, of mediocrity that does not help you win that helps you be informed but disempowered i'd rather be empowered than informed if you ask me that's what creates an extraordinary life not being informed but being empowered do you have empowering inferences in your life influences in your life that help you to win if the answer is no there is your problem roll with winners hang with winners infuse yourself with the energy and the Frequency of winners, the energy orbit of winners is what you've got to be around all day, every day. That's what it takes to become a winner, guys. And if you haven't yet done so, 
I can tell you right now, you're doing yourself a significant disservice by not strategically investing in yourself with winners in your corner. And at the risk of sounding self-serving, you really need to have mentors and coaches in your corner who know what it takes to win, who live by example and lead by example in winning in their own life so that you can have a shorter path to the cash, so you can condense decades into days. So instead of having to blunder through the darkness with concrete blocks on your feet, trudging through the mud, throwing yogurt to the fan, hoping something sticks, you can go straight to what works like that. Instead of messing around doing it the hard way for years and years and years, you can get straight to results like that. That's what transformed my life. I stopped being cheap. I stopped making excuses. I started strategically and boldly and intelligently investing in myself, in my own mentors, getting winners in my corner. My income went up through the, through the stratosphere almost overnight. My lifestyle, my leadership, my ability to influence, my ability to create impact, my ability to transform people's lives, absolutely multiplied and magnified because I was leading by example in my own life and I stopped making excuses. And that's your opportunity as well. So if you're listening to this right now and you're like, Dorn, I'm feeling what you're giving right now. I'm picking up what you're laying down. I totally understand what you're saying and I need more of that in my life. And I've been trudging through the mud with concrete blocks on my feet. I've been stumbling in the darkness, trying to figure out how to make this thing work and it ain't working. If you're sick and tired of spinning your wheels, if you're sick and tired of not getting the results you want, if you're sick and tired of worrying where your next deal is gonna come from, if you're worried about you know, how you're gonna keep the lights on, if you're worried about how you're gonna even keep it in this, make it in this business, if you're worried about having to go back to that nine to five day job you hate, if you're worried about how you're gonna own your power to provide in your household, and you're worried about letting yourself down and letting your family down, letting your, your spouse down, and not being able to toe the line financially. If you're worried about not being able to create the life you want because what you're doing ain't working, you need to stop worrying and you need to start winning by strategically investing in yourself. So if that's you and you've come to the end of your rope where you're just freaking done doing it the hard way and you're looking for a better proven plan to start winning and start winning now, I invite you guys to take advantage of a complimentary breakthrough coaching session where either myself or one of my consultants will lift up the hood on your business and we're gonna look at what's working, what's not working, where are you at now? Not the delusional optimism bullshit version of where you're at now, but the truth about where you're at now. And where do you wanna be? And what is it gonna to take to really create a breakthrough in your life? Not just an itty bitty increase, but a transformational breakthrough where you're doubling, tripling, quadrupling, even quintupling your income. What's it going to really take to make your dream real? If you want to get clarity on that, like you never have before, if you want to get equipped with clarity and confidence on what it's really going to take to make your dream a reality, I invite you to take advantage of a complimentary breakthrough coaching session by going to mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. That's mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. And you can book a time on our calendar with either myself or one of my consultants and I promise you, it'll be one of the most fruitfully rewarding, one of the most meaningful, one of the most transparent, one of the most clarity inducing one hour segments of your life you've ever had. In fact, you may have more clarity on this call than you ever have in your entire life in terms of what it's going to take to really make your dream a reality, to make that dream life, that dream business actually happen for real for you and not someday in some far distant past, a decade from now. I'm talking in the next two, three, four years, maybe even the next year, maybe even the next six months. Lots can happen when you start working smart instead of just working hard. So it's 100% free, complimentary, no strings attached. We're gonna explore whether or not we're the right fit to help you create a breakthrough. If we are, by all means, we'll show you how. If not, I'll be the first person or my consultants will be the first people to tell you to pass on our services. Either way, you're going to leave the call with massive value, massive clarity, and we're going to have some fun. Cool? So there you have it, guys. MortgageMarketingCoach.com forward slash apply. Book your call. And there are the three steps to stop worrying and start winning. CAR. C-A-R. You guys remember what it stands for? Let's do it one more, one more time, guys, just to recap. 
C is for claim your victory in advance. A is for accept total responsibility for what's in your control. And R is roll with winners and develop winning habits, winning thoughts, winning beliefs, winning routines. All right, guys, I hope you got value from this. Uh, I'd love to hear your feedback. If uh, you would like to share your feedback, please go ahead and uh, post it on our Facebook business page at uh, facebook.com forward slash uh, mortgage marketing coach. We'd love your feedback. We have a review, review section there as well. You can also review this on iTunes. If you're in iTunes, please give us a review there. And uh, it's been a pleasure serving you. This is Dorn Aldana, mortgage marketing coach from mortgagemarketingcoach.com coming at you from the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. So go forth, take massive action, bring massive positive energy to that action. Chances are you'll get massive results. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Go forth and win, baby. Let's do this. Make it a great day. Peace.